Now, let's get this day started with our opening fireside chat with Binance's dedication to blockchain in the local area here in France. We're extremely honored to have the French Minister for Digital Transition and Telecommunications, Jean-Noël Barraud, join us today for an intimate fireside chat session with Binance's CEO, very own CZ. Now, to moderate this session, of course, will also be my co-host, Kayla Rourke. Now, would you please join me in giving a warm welcome to Jean-Noël, CZ, and of course, Kayla. <laughs> Yeah, I think any couch works. Uh, we have a plethora of couches. Um, thank you so much for being here um, today. Uh, I'd like to kick off with you, CZ. Uh, look at this turnout. Um, this is the largest event you have organized for Binance in the world. Uh, why is France a strategic hub for the blockchain community? Um, yeah, so I think France is very important, very strategic uh, for many, many reasons. I think one of the first reasons is um, for us, there's a very large talent pool here. Um, France has a very strong engineering culture, and um, uh, France has been historically very strong in mathematics, so that culture still filters down through the generations, and that has very deep roots. So talent pool is one of the biggest reasons uh, that, that we're here for. Um, but there's many, many other reasons I can elaborate I don't know how much I should go into. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're welcome to share a few more. Um, you know, I think we're really interested in hearing sort of definitely the opportunities for uh, the blockchain community. And then maybe on the flip side, what are the major challenges uh, for the blockchain community um, in France and even for Binance? What challenges are you guys facing? Sure. So, uh, so on the talent pool part, uh, we established a large team already. We have 150 people here now. Uh, we hired 150 people in France, in Paris already. We have, a, we have, moved, we have to change our office a couple of times to accommodate the growth. Um, and uh, uh, we are planning to hire a couple hundred more um, before the end of the year. So we're growing very fast. And it's, uh, the talent pool allowed us to go grow very fast. Um, the challenges we face very often are you know, regulatory challenges, regulatory um, uh, uh, on the lack of clarity in regulatory in other places, where France, this is less, much less of a problem. Um, the France regulators are very clear, very upfront, very precise. Um, they're very demanding, very strict, um, but they're very, they're very quick in response. They're very responsive, so they're very quick. Um, they want to push this industry forward. They welcome this industry. Um, they're still very tough. They're extremely tough on the KYC, AML, many of those procedures that we, we have to go through. So um, thanks to um, Minister's uh, help, and, uh, uh, and also the, um, on the France uh, regulatory side, um, there's very strong alignment. Um, we've seen in other countries where you know, one regulator wants this, the other regulator wants that, um, the president wants something else, the central bank is, is have another different agenda. Whereas <clears throat> in France, on the regulatory front, it's very, uni it's very aligned. Um, the, you, don't, you don't have to have, you know, work on different angles. They welcome this industry. Uh, they're very tough. Um, uh, it's not, uh, there's a lot of work, um, but um, the alignment is very strong. So I think uh, that's one of the things that France is extremely strong. And that's also why we, you know, we're here. Um, that's why we are organizing events here. And that's why we have, we have our, um, basically the, the, the biggest hub of Europe here. And that's why we do most of the things that we do for Europe from here. Um, I think the other challenge we do, uh, we face very often, is still education, right? So the industry is so new. Uh, we still have to spend a lot of time in, uh, on educating people. And France is quite good for this. France has many strong schools. And today we can announce that we're actually working with um, uh, uh, Samplon uh, to educate 10,000 um, uh, students. Uh, we have a program that's the details of the announcement is going out. And this is thanks to the collaboration with the good minister um, and um, many other uh, 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 community parties involved. So, uh, yeah. Yay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. So those are some of the things that highlights and some of our some of our challenges that we face. But overall, France is a very, um, uh, very developed and very uh, very welcoming. Uh, 
part, uh, uh, place for crypto. Great. Well, um, I have other questions more about Web3, but uh, first maybe, uh, do you want to sort of respond to that, um, you know, the regulation that's going on, um, how that is an advantage um, in France, and, um, and just sort of overall remarks um, from CZ? Sure. Well, uh, he hello, everybody. I'm very happy to, uh, to share the, the stage with CZ and to join you for uh, this kickoff of the, uh, of the Binance Blockchain Week. And I want to uh, well, corroborate what uh, CZ just said. Uh, there are uh, huge opportunities associated with uh, Web3 in general that are going to uh, sort of change deeply uh, some of the, or many of the sectors of, uh, of, of our economy, starting with finance and decentralized finance in, in particular. And we'll be talking about that in, the, in, the, in, this, uh, in this blockchain week. Uh, but also many other dimensions, uh, I'm thinking culture in particular, which is uh, something where France also has a, has a strong advantage over uh, other places uh, around the world. Uh, but more generally, to, uh, to, to the, this transition from the Web 2 to the, to the Web 3 will unleash uh, huge uh, opportunities for uh, sharing, uh, collaboration, uh, and, uh, and, and creativity uh, in general. And that's why we are in France with the government and, uh, and President Macron strongly supporting the, the Web3 uh, ecosystem. And in particular, the uh, crypto uh, ecosystem. And uh, I, of course, agree with CZ to say that um, uh, France has become the main hub in Europe uh, for, for this ecosystem. And there are a bunch of reasons for that. And CZ has uh, listed some of them. One is that we have, uh, we have the companies. Uh, the fintech ecosystem in France is the largest in terms of jobs in uh, Europe by now. We have a growing crypto uh, ecosystem, which is part of the fintech uh, uh, ecosystem. We have global leaders like Ledger, like Sorare, and we've been able to attract global leaders like Binance. And I want to pay a tribute to, uh, to Binance uh, for the organization of the Binance Blockchain Week for Objective Moon and for this uh, partnership that was just announced. I will say a word about that in a, in a couple of, uh, of minutes. And so we, are, we have a, a fast growing ecosystem with uh, global leaders that are now setting uh, foot in, in France. And this is the first reason, I think, why France is becoming the, this hub. The second one is we also have financiers. I'm sure there are some of them in the room. We have a growing VC ecosystem that is be becoming specialized in uh, crypto uh, and blockchain uh, technologies and that is able to understand them and therefore to finance them. And this is great news because it's going to nurture the growth of, uh, of our companies. Uh, the third point is that we, we have indeed regulators that have acquired over the years a deep understanding of what uh, blockchain-based uh, you know, finance is about. They are very tough, but they are very responsive and very understanding of the details. And you know how it works. Regulation uh, is all about the details. And that's, that's also a very, uh, a very important comparative advantage. And fourth, we have the talent. We have the talent historically because we have leading global leading uh, engineering schools, because we have, uh, with President Macron, uh, a strong uh, ambition for the growth of the talent pool in our country, and because we also have schools like Simplon, and I want to highlight once again that this partnership that uh, Binance has uh, just announced with Simplon is a major advancement. A major advancement by, because it's going to address 10,000 youth uh, from underprivileged areas. And by doing so, we are addressing both the necessity to boost our talent pool, but we are also, and this is very important if we want to keep supporting technology as we do in France today, is going to reduce the digital divide and by allowing everyone to seize the opportunities opened by the Web3 and crypto technologies. So you see we have the companies, we have the financiers, we have wise regulators, and we have a growing talent pool. And these are all the reasons why France uh, can lead on Web3.
Thank you so much, and that's such good forecasting about so many of the topics that we're going to get into over the next few days, education, regulation, talent, VC. So I'm excited that we'll get a chance to dig into those topics um, with panels um, as well. Um, just one last question before we close. We've talked a lot about France. Um, I'd like to zoom in on Paris. When we think about financial hubs around the world, we obviously have Wall Street in New York. We have the city in London. Do you think that Paris could be the new financial hub for the crypto community? Sure, and we've worked hard to, uh, to, to help uh, achieve this. Um, so Paris is the most beautiful city of the world, uh, but you already know about this. Uh, anyone in the room has, is in Paris for the first time? Uh, some of you. So oh, yeah. How first lucky well. are you to discover Paris for the, for the first time? But actually, you know, uh, I, even when you come, when, even when you, uh, you're hired by Binance and you move to Paris, you will discover that uh, there is this first time impression, but that every day in Paris, you are amazed by the beauty of the city. But that's not uh, the, only <laughs> the, the only thing we do to, uh, to uh, attract uh, talent in, in Paris. We've done a lot over the past five years under the impulse of uh, President Macron. Um, we've first corrected the sort of the perception that people had about France. France was about tough labor laws, high taxes. We've lowered taxes, we've uh, changed labor laws to make them more uh, sort of uh, compatible with entrepreneurship and innovation. And then we've thought hard about regulation. And as I, as a congressman, have worked on the PSAN regulation, uh, which some of you or many of you know about, which has set the path for the MICA uh, regulation at the European level. And the reason why Europe has uh, inspired itself from the French regula uh, regulatory framework is that we have struck the right balance between the protection of investors on the one hand and uh, the, uh, the, the, the incentive to innovate on the other hand. And the flexibility of the PSAN visa, of the CASP uh, uh, visa, has basically been the inspiration of the MICA framework. And if you come in France and register as a CASP, you will be able to passport in Europe and you'll be able to have a smooth transition to MICA precisely because uh, MICA was inspired by uh, the French uh, framework. Uh, now, from some of the uh, technologies, in particular uh, NFTs, we are, we are left out of the Mika framework, and we are, of course, working on uh, finding the right framework for, for this. But I want to highlight another thing, and I want to encourage you to talk about this uh, during the day and to engage in uh, and participate in, in this other regulation that is going to come into place next year in March of 2023. And maybe we can talk about that next year for the next year uh, Binance uh, Blockchain Week, which is um, the, the, the uh, DLT pilot uh, regulation, which is, going, which is basically a sandbox regulation that is going to start in March 2023 for three years, and that is going to allow for a lot of innovation in, uh, in this field. And I encourage you to, well, to, 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 and to, uh, to get on board and seize all the opportunities open by, this, uh, by new, this new regulation, which is made to be flexible and uh, to allow you to innovate while preserving the protection of, uh, of investors at, uh, at, the at the same time. And this is a regulation that has been designed specifically for finance use case of blockchain technologies. So we've set the regulation. Uh, Paris is beautiful. Uh, it's, it's now up to you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, CZ, do you want to leave us um, with any final comments? Sure. Um, I think Minister um, Jean Noel pretty much said it all, but um, I want to add a few things. I agree with m very much of it. I think, f to be honest, Paris probably already is the financial hub for crypto in Europe and probably in the larger part of the world. Um, I think f uh, France, uh, Paris, um, the ministers, the regulators here has tremendous um, uh, input and contributions to the Mika uh, regulations that's coming up. Uh, we are aware of some of those uh, efforts that, that went on, and those are not easy. 
and well, that will make the job for the crypto entrepreneurs much, much easier, or the crypto businesses much easier. Instead of applying for 27 licenses, you just have to apply for one, and it's now pass you will be passportable. Um, and there are some very tricky issues in the Mika regulations. Well, not tricky, like fine-tuned balance issues. Um, I think Mika will be uh, viewed as a global standard to copy from for many other jurisdictions. So it's, um, it's very important to get that right. Um, to be honest, I'll, I'll get into the details a little bit. There's, uh, most part of Mika is very good, to be honest. Um, it is a little bit strict on the stable coins. It's a little bit limiting on the stable coins by not... Um, today, the drafts are not adopting the US, US dollar-based stable coins, which have the 75% liquidity in the market. And this is some difficult issues that you know, regul regulators work behind the scenes to try to overcome, etc. Uh, but overall, Mika is fantastic. And uh, we're also looking at a, um, uh, obtaining potentially some traditional license, like you know, um, MIFID licenses, to be able to offer derivatives in a, compliance, in, a, in a compliant way. So many of those efforts are on ongoing. And I think this all ties back, if we backtrack a little bit. You know, five years ago, President Macron said Let's, he wants to make France a startup nation. Um, this for France, well, for many other countries is easy, but for France it's super difficult. So France has a long history, a lot of establishment. Um, and, but I think so far till today, it largely has happened. And I think we're very confident for the next five years it will, it will explode. So um, all those... and. Uh, Many of those things are happening, including lower taxes, um, much more, uh, much, more um, much easier employment laws, uh, etc. So all of those things are uh, um, crypt uh, entrepreneur friendly, uh, startup friendly. So and now there's also Station F, uh, which we're partners with, um, and so all of those things happened, and that's very very promising. But I think today, um, the fact that we're here, uh, we're based here, we uh, and. In the last year or so, we have seen, also seen a lot of other businesses, crypto businesses coming here. And there's many local ones here too. You know, Ledger's here. Ledger's a very popular, well, the po most popular hardware wallet. Um, there's many other businesses here that, that, that are quite strong. So um, I think we're already kind of the hub. But it's the early days. And we want to continue to build up, build up on that. And we're very, we're very confident this, this, this is the right place. Yeah, well, thank you so much. Great ambitions, and we look forward to seeing all that over the next few days. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.